Hi there, I'm Mark. You can almost feel the lethargy beginning to seep through the markets as we head towards the August holiday season. Well, you know, we've seen the pound weaken further against most of the other major currencies. And this morning, a new forecast estimated that while the pound may see some recovery over the next month to two months or so to around the one euro 22 level, it's almost certainly likely to weaken towards the end of the year to around one euro 12. We'll see, we shall see. In the meantime, the FTSE 100 up today, about a third of a percent is 6,730. And my stock in focus today is BT. Its shares were up about 3% 3 to 3.99 after Ofcom, that's the telecoms regulator, said that OpenReach, which is BT's broadband business, would not have to be broken up from the rest of the company after all. It's been looking into this and it said though that OpenReach should be run as a legally separate business within BT. Now the shares are up today, but still about a pound lower than their recent peak, so it's worth keeping on the list. Now finally, my big boss spotlight today falls on Philip Green. Sorry, I still can't bring myself to call him sir. BHS faces closure and thousands of his loyal staff face uncertain futures over their pensions. And quite frankly, he's facing the wrath of everyone, but instead of saving his reputation by writing a huge check in order to help the BHS pension fund, Green has insisted on paying huge amounts of money to lawyers, as if they're not rich enough already, to fire off letters to MPs accusing them, accusing them of defamation. I feel that you are, whether you like it or not, probably one of the most loathed corporate men in Britain right now. And only you can fix that. Now, the Green's net worth has been estimated at around $5 billion, or just shy of £4 billion. Now, Green has been asked to write a cheque for £700 million to fix the pension hole at BHS. If he just paid this, his net family, family net worth would still be around £3 billion. Honestly, he should stop messing with the lawyers and prove his worth to his former colleagues by safeguarding their futures. I'm convinced it will make him a better man. Well, that's it for now. It'd be great if you could subscribe to my videos. They are free. Uh, do share them as well and follow me on Twitter. I'll see you tomorrow.